Fabrizio Romano confirmed Casemiro's departure from Real Madrid. According to reports, Real Madrid accepted all details of the bid. Club preparing contracts right now. 60 million euro fixed fee added with 10 million adds on. This is absolutely shocking. I'm still in this belief, out of Bermuda Triangle, Casemiro, Cruz, Modric, Casemiro is the last person I expected to leave. But here we are with a shocker. Like many of you, I am sad, angry, but we have to respect his decision. Just to remind you, he won every possible title for Real Madrid. He won three La Liga titles, five Champions League titles, including many other titles. When I think of Casemiro, he reminds me of aggression, strong physicality, extremely high working rate. A player who doesn't believe in giving up. A player like Casemiro is almost irreplaceable. What could be the reasons of Casemiro's departure? I have two reasonings, but both are hypothetical, so take it with a grain of salt. First of all, it's too obvious to me. It's about money. Yes, money talks. This is the truth. The second reason is a rumor. I don't totally buy it, but I can see the possibility of it. It's about Real Madrid's decision to buy Chouameni. In fact, there were lots of reports suggested that Casimiro wasn't happy about Real Madrid buying Chouameni. Additionally, he had a meeting with Carlo Ancelotti. Now, all we are hearing is that he wants to have a new challenge. To me, that idea of new challenge is just bullshit. But I respect his decision, it's his life, he has the right to do whatever he wants to do and I wish him the best as a Real Madrid fan. Even Casemiro left Real Madrid, what's next for Real Madrid? Carlo Ancelotti had a recent interview where he had a lot of revealing information. <laughs> Escuchando su voluntad, su deseo, creo que no hay, no hay manera de volver atrás. Entonces, es esto, de tener en cuenta de esto. Y, y si todo sale, si la negociación sale bien por él, se si busca un acuerdo, tenemos que desearlo lo mejor y, y mirar a lo que tenemos en este momento. Creo. So, Carlo said that he respects Casimiro's decisions and there is no way to go back. Carlo just confirmed that Casemiro has already made his mind. He wants to leave Real Madrid for Manchester United for a new challenge and we have to respect. And Real Madrid is a club who rarely forces players to stay against their will. And this is no exception. Yes, we had some exceptions like Bale or James, but those are just exceptions. When he pides, he has the probar un nuevo desafío tenemos que entenderlo y tenemos que aceptarlo con el máximo respeto y con el máximo cariño entonces no somos enfadados no somos tristes eh, es claro que a nivel personal cuando tú te quedas mucho tiempo con un jugador con una no con un jugador con una persona tan eh, amable tan eh, seria tan profesional es claro que no estás contento me dicho esto prevale respecto para su decisión. Exactly, I couldn't disagree honestly what he said. Despite Casemiro left, we have a lot of options at midfield. In fact, Carlo Ancelotti said the same thing in the same interview. He said we have Cruz, we have Kamavinga, we have Chouameni. In my opinion, the best players who can do the job would be Chouameni or Alaba as a CDM. These two players aren't as strong as Casemiro defensively, especially Chouamani is young, he's only 22 years old. Once he gets more experience and have more game time and have learned from other players like Modric and Cruz, he will be one of the best defensive midfielder in the world. Besides Chouamani and Alaba, there is another player that can do the job. His name is Kamavinga. If you go back and see the past of last Champions League campaign, we had three insane comeback against PSG, Chelsea and Man City. And Kamavinga is one of the reasons of those comebacks. 
In fact, when we needed to score goals, Casemiro was not on the field. Suggesting that Amavinga may be not the perfect replacement or defensive midfielder as of Casemiro, but he can do the job. Another scenario could be Kamavinga and Chouamini double pivot and Modric in front of them. Another scenario could be Modric, Chouamini and Valverde at midfield. This would be my preferred midfield trial. Given we have so many midfielders, so many depth, we can do shuffling and try multiple combinations and see what combinations work the best. But this is how Real Madrid fans reacted in social media. First comment, I am gonna miss your permit a horrendous tackle on the opponent but he still get away with no card. Smile. Uh, this is true. Like Casimiro, the way he gets used to getting away with the card is astonishing. The reply to that comment was Kamavinga just needs a little more. He's just starting to adopt that tradition. Hopefully. Another comment. I am heartbroken right now. Esimiro living hurts. I hope Chomani can even be half the player Esimiro was. Ah, uh, this is as expected. We are all sad and we just have to accept the reality. Also, I didn't like the way he compared Chouamini and Casimiro. Another comments. Best wishes. Goodbye to a true Madridista and living legend. Man, I'm gonna miss you. Casimiro, that tank. 72 million euro is a fucking sick. Perez is absolutely insane. Again, this comment suggests some fans are okay with the money we're getting. At the same time, I have seen a lot of fans are against this. The thing we should never sell Casimiro, no matter what. And many of them are bashing Florentino Perez for this. Didn't think Casimiro would retire from football before Cruz and Modric. I said the same thing. Today is a sad day because Casimiro won our hearts. But we cannot forget this. Players come and go forward. I am 100% confident with Germany and the actual squad. Ala Madrid. This is my favorite comment so far.